let's take a minute and talk about why you would want to modernize your code. What is modernization motivation? Well, your clients and your company and your boss are going to love the potential better performance you can get when you modernize your code. While modern compilers are extremely good at providing optimal output from your code, the better your code is, the better organized, the cleaner, the better the output potentially can be. You also want better readability. Okay, so you're going to have programmers who are going to come behind you and maintain your code, or maybe even you'll maintain it six months, 12 months down the road. The more readable it is, the easier it is to maintain and modify. And this, to the bottom line, will save you money. You also need to observe contemporary code conventions. So I've been programming for a long time, and I remember at a certain point, if you did not use Hungarian notation, you are severely criticized. Nowadays, if you don't use camel casing and you do use Hungarian, you're severely criticized. So things change over time, and you don't want to appear a dinosaur in your coding conventions. Modern code also provides better reusability. By observing the newer conventions, the reusability will go up because it's taking advantage of the new compiler features. And lastly, if you are observing proper object-oriented principles, your code will be much more extensible. That means that classes and code you've previously written will be reusable in many more situations as extended classes. So the first tenet is that you must believe in the compiler. As developers, we want to believe that we can optimize better than the compiler. But the compiler is much better than we are at optimizing. So bullet point one, let the compiler optimize. There was a time that I would have never written the code that you see in front of you. The reason is that string length at one time would have been called every single time through the loop iteration. The compiler would have generated code that called string length. So what I used to do to optimize this myself is I would create a local variable called length and I'd call string length before the loop in order to only call string length once. That way every time through the loop iteration it was using my local variable. However, times have changed significantly, and unbeknownst to you, on your behalf, the compiler will call string length once and then use that value for the loop iterations. So you don't have to do anything to optimize this. The compiler will do it for you. The next rule that I follow is, no matter what you do, you can't outrun the compiler. Let me give you an example. Okay, so let's take this really simple code snippet and it just counts from 0 to buffer length minus 1 and creates a total. Well, I could easily rewrite this in assembly language and Visual Studio, Visual C++ supports inline assembly. And there's the equivalent code right there. I have tried over and over and over again using inline assembly to beat the compiler. And to date, with modern compilers, I can't. I used to be able to beat them pretty handily. But in recent times, there is no way. The last of these points I'd like to make is that you should let Visual Studio, Visual C++, or the Intel compiler use their optimization defaults. I actually did quite a bit of experimentation in size optimization versus speed optimization. As it turns out, the way the L1 and L2 cache work, many times size optimizations give you better speed than speed optimizations. There are some downsides to modernization. You should definitely weigh these carefully before you proceed. The first is cost. It's going to take you time to modernize your legacy code. Is it worth it? You need to do a careful analysis before you move forward. If it's not worth it, don't do it. You also may have to refactor applications that consume classes and libraries which you are modernizing. For instance, they may have different calling conventions or they may have different ways of making their method calls. You may actually have to factor several applications that might consume the classes or libraries. In addition, <laughs> you can break things. Code dependencies cause some applications to break. Here again, this is a pretty significant cost if you ask me. The possibility of breaking an application because you refactored or modernized some code is something you should seriously consider. So in conclusion, there are downsides to code modernization. 
but you can mitigate these risks with careful planning. Effective modernization can affect performance, reusability, and readability. So for these reasons, you should carefully consider it.